Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Jessie with Green Eyed Ambition. I am so excited to talk to you today about ways to go on to 2021 saving some money. So let's get into it. Before we get started, make sure you click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or information. As I mentioned, we're gonna talk about saving money in 2021. I know we've been counting down to 2020 being done and over. I get it. It's been an interesting year by far. And finances has probably been the biggest thing that's been hit. One thing I like to talk about on this channel is the power in minimalism, be it from a space of creating a space that you feel excited and inspired to live in, as well as talking about the benefits, the financial benefits to actually taking it on. So today, I wanted to talk to you about ways to utilize your minimalist journey to be able to start saving money today, going into the new year. The key to getting started is setting a goal. The one benefit that I have really enjoyed about taking on minimalism is that I am not just buying things to have them in my house. I actually have intention for everything that I purchase and where my money goes. It helps though, to actually set a goal to want to hit. It may be to pay off debt. It may be to start saving up certain a certain amount of money. Whatever your goal is, it's very important to get clear about it and set it so that you are knowing that by not purchasing this thing or by maybe selling off some clothes that you're no longer wearing, that it's gonna be paying, you for, paying it forward to the bigger goal that you have. So the first thing is, Set a goal that you want to hit so that you remember why it's important for you to save your money. The second part is to create a budget. Not a fictitious one, but something that you really are inspired to stick to. That way you're clear about, hey, this is what I'm bringing in. This is what I am actually allocated to spending money on so that you know where your dollars are going. Whichever budgeting method you want to use, it's totally up to you. I like to do a cash envelope system. Um, there's a ton of different other ones out there. Um, I do, will find a video and put it in the description on what the cash envelope system is about. It really helped me with not just swiping because we are in a debit card, credit card uh, culture in our society. It helped me with realizing, okay, you said that you were only gonna spend this amount of money on groceries this month. I'm every day, every time I go shopping, I'm deducting money from that specific line item so that I am staying within that budget. How it impacts your saving is that when you're creating your budget, you're actually also having a place that's tracking what your savings is going to, like the money you're saving, what it's going to. So if you're saving money, maybe to move. Then if you know that your goal is to save $5,000, and you only have an additional $200 a month, then you know, okay, these are the things that I'm going to be able to purchase, and this is the $200 that I'm putting to the side. So then that way, you're not just swiping and getting distracted, let's call it, um, but you're actually staying super focused. Third one is to create an accountability. I think I've done multiple videos about the power of accountability because we all need someone. I like to set goals, but if no one knows about it, guess what? I often forget about it. I love to set accountability measures so that they don't have to know all of your financial things, but maybe it might be having a girlfriend or a friend that you say, hey, how about in the month of January, we do a no spend November, um, a no spend January challenge together. That way that you're both holding each other accountable. Or if you want to be able to let your friend know that I'm challenging myself to not go shopping for the next four months. If you see me with anything new, please talk, please just check me on it so that I'm not just going off the rail. Um, because when you do have that accountability, it makes a world of a difference so that others are going to be cheering you on so that you have the success that you want in your goal. And the final purpose for putting yourself on a budget and making sure that you're not allowing all the stuff to come back into your home and spending all the money that you are wanting to save is to just 
be patient. I just think that's so important because we want it now. That's why a lot of our shopping and consumerism is the way it is right now in America is because we want it now. Um, but we, we're not exuberating this patience to get the goal that we're wanting. So when you are setting your budget and you are actually clear about what your goal is, just celebrate the small steps towards it. Even if it's, hey, I am aggressively wanting to pay off $20,000 in debt. And it may be, instead of going shopping at certain stores, it might be thrifting, or it might be going through your closet and selling some items, or it might be getting a side job or a part-time job. Whatever you may need to do to hit your goal. But the key to actually saving money going into 2021 is to have your intentions and your goals clear and willing to make a little bit of a sacrifice for a small amount of time, just a little tiny bit of time. Um, to really have what you want. I hope you were able to grab something informative about this so that you can still go into 2021 inspired, fired up to hit your goals and willing to make a little bit of sacrifice to have the success that you're wanting in the new year. I'd like to com you to comment below and let me know what are you gonna take on as a goal, a financial goal for 2021 and I look forward to talking to you. But before you sign off, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I know you enjoyed this video and I wanna connect with you more. All right, talk to you later. For now, peace.